Here at home tonight, we're getting a look at the mugshot of the Prince George's County daycare worker allegedly seen on video assaulting children. Yes, yeah, she faces multiple charges and will now not be let out of jail before her next court date. Adrienne De Piazza is live at police headquarters tonight. Adrian, I know a lot of parents are so disturbed looking at these videos. Yeah, we should warn everyone who is watching that this is hard to look at. These videos have been circulating on the line now for about four days, but police are still in the thick of their investigation, doing interviews and looking at some new surveillance video from the daycare itself. In the meantime, this defendant is going to stay in jail. These acts were uh, really outrageous. Um, and I believe that the judge agreed with us that uh, there is no uh, bond that would uh, protect the public from her. 23-year-old Kayla Greenwell only worked at the Oxen Hill Center for Early Learning since late March. It's unclear if she had any prior experience with children. Today, she faces two child abuse charges and two assault charges. After videos she apparently took of herself, committing the acts were made public, including being sent to Fox 5. They are horrific, showing her physically assaulting a three- and four-year-old at the daycare in front of other children five days ago. There are still forensic interviews to do, including of the two victims. Law enforcement says they're looking at surveillance video from the center to see if there's any additional incidents or victims. Whether it was for punishment or something else, we have no idea. Uh, but what we do know is that uh, under no circumstances at all, uh, what, what the actions that were on that video uh, that, that were taken uh, would be justified. The daycare has not responded to our multiple attempts to contact them. Their website does say they do not take lightly the trust parents have in them to care for their children. Typically, a defendant may get out of jail while they await their next hearing or trial. In this case, though, the judge says that Greenwell must remain in jail until she's due before him once again, which will be in May. If she were to be convicted on these charges, she could see sentences of 10 and 15 years per count. Back to you.